Hey everyone, it's Sinsco here. Welcome back to another video. Today is finally the day. So you're watching this on a Saturday, but I actually recorded this yesterday for you. Said the Sky's new album, Sentiment, is out now. I can't tell you how excited I am to listen to this album. Like, I'm really, really excited. There's 15 tracks on the album, with only five of them being released before. Let's get into the reaction. Let's get into the first track, which is called Gold with Carly Beaver. Okay. Love a bit of acoustic guitar, as always. I heard there's going to be some like punk kind of vibes with this album. So we'll see. Nice voice. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be listening to this, honestly. Really nice. Wish I had a map with an X on it. Okay. Wish this is a very a chill start to the album. Baby, you're gold, gold. First place in my heart. Oh, this is chill. Bro, am I gonna cry listening to this album? I don't think I will. It takes a lot to make me cry. This is like really sweet. Okay, maybe one drop in this song or none at all. I'm happy either way. I'm liking it so far. It's really clean. I don't really have much to comment on. It doesn't sound like there's a lot going on, but it's just really nice. I'm not loving this one as much as Walk Me Home. I absolutely love Walk Me Home, but this is still really nice. I'm obviously going to be rating all of the songs as well as we go through them and then doing an overall rating on the album at the end. We gonna get a drop? I don't think we will. Nice, yeah. And we've got like 20 seconds left. There's no drop, but I think that's a really smooth intro to the album. Like really nice. Not really one that you'd play at like a festival or something. If like said the sky was playing live, but Still really nice. Really nice, smooth little intro to the album. I like that. So like I said, I'm going to be rating them all out of 10 after I've listened to them. So that one, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. You know, not bad. I, I do like it. I think it's quite sweet. I don't think it's really going to be one that I'm going to come back and listen to all the time, though. And just to make it clear, I class anything below a 5 as being like, a, eh, I don't really like it. And it's a 6, so it's above a 5, so it's still good. i got to be harsh with my ratings, okay? Because if I rate them all a 10, it's just going to be a pointless video. Right, this next one. It's called We Know Who We Are. It's of Oliver the Kid, and this one was released before. I haven't heard this song in quite a while, actually. I think this was possibly the first song from the album, I think. It's like a heat wave hits you right between the eyes. Yeah, I remember this one. Not bad, you know. If I'm being completely honest, this song, it just didn't... It just didn't... I know, hit me. I, I thought, you know, it's a, it's an alright song. I did listen to it a bit, but I didn't love it, you know? But hey, I haven't listened to it in a while, so maybe that'll change. And Oliver the Kid is actually on this album three times i think so at least i don't mind his voice because if i just didn't like his voice then it means i wouldn't like any of them songs but that's not the reason why i i'm not a huge fan of this song i don't know what it is it's just something about it i don't love it let's hear the drop
yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. It's, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a good song. It's just nothing special. And that's just my opinion. Obviously, there are only two tracks into the album, so it's going to get better. I know it's going to get better because like Treading Water I love and Walk Me Home I love, and I haven't heard the other ones, so I, I know it gets better still. I also just like the style of Ted the Sky's kind of album branding how it's like all of his songs were like uh, tapes of like the songs and then even just like the music videos all kind of had the similar style where it's like following someone's life that something that's happened to them or whatever it's like a really cool idea and i feel like the songs kind of tell stories too which is cool I do like this bit. It's like a big, it's quite empty, but it's like one of the bits that if you're playing this live, everyone's going to sing along kind of thing, you know? Okay, second drop. It's chill. I tell you what, it gives me dabbing vibes. I know it's not produced by Dabin, but I don't know. It kind of gives me Dabin vibes. Yeah, it's all right. I don't mind it. You know, I... I feel like I am liking it more listening to it now in like context of an album than before. And I'm a sucker for acoustic guitar. Love it. And piano as well. And a good vocal. I think they're the things I really love. I'm going to give it a five, okay? And the reason I'm going to give it a five is because it's kind of like the middle ground. It's like, it's a good song. I just don't love it. And for me, I, I didn't really listen to it a lot. I've probably listened to that song a total of like five times since it's come out. Anyway, moving on to the third song of the album, Go On Then Love with Said The Sky and The Main. This one was released before again, and I love this song. This song again was released before, but I really like this song. I've listened to this song quite a lot of times. It's just something about this. I love the punk kind of vibes. I think The Main is a band I've never really heard of them before. But, I don't know, just a mixture of that kind of like melodic bass, kind of poppy punk kind of thing. It's just really cool. I really like it. And the like vocal chops in the drop as well. I love it. It's just really cool. Yeah, banger. I really like this song. It's this bit. This is a bit I love. With the guitar and then teasing that melody in the background oh such a banger i love this song here we go drop one this is not loud enough yes i love the guitars i love the vocal drops banger i really really love this song Even down to the little bit like that piano. I just love it. Everything about this song is sick. I don't know whether I've done a song reaction to this song or not. I might have done. If I did, I'll put it on the thing that should pop up when I said that. And if you want to go watch my first reaction to it, you can. I know I did one to Tread in Water and Walk Me Home. I just don't know if I've done one to this song or not. Yeah, it's such a banger. So cool. 
When I listen to songs like this, songs that I already know, I like really listen to the production and it's like such a well produced song. It's just a banger. Here we go, drop two. It's like the same drop, but it's such a perfect mix of that set the sky sound and that punk kind of sound. It's so sick. And that like reverb as well. So cool. And that whatever that sound is as well, that I think gets louder, right? If I remember. No, but that that whatever that noise was was cool. That one, I, I got a rate it a 10 out of 10. I just love it. It's one of those songs that's perfect. It's a complete opposite vibe to songs like Walk Me Home and Treading Water that are on the album. But I do really like that song. It's just one that puts me in a good mood. It's good vibes. I just really like it. Next up for track number four is a song called Spider and it's featuring Boy in Space. I've actually listened to Boy in Space for a couple of years now and I'm a fan of some of his songs. I'm excited for this collab. I think he's got a really interesting voice. I'm curious to hear what it's like on a Set the Sky song. Let's give it a listen. Okay. Okay, really nice acoustic guitar. If you think you haven't seen it all, watch the city fall. Dreams pass by like Carol. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, nice. I was not expecting like a trap kind of thing. Are we going to have a drop? We have to have a drop. It sounds like we're going to have a drop. Okay, here we go. Woo! That 808 is fat. <laughs> it's like a buzz on it. I don't even know if it is an 808, actually. Whatever the bass is, it's a really big bass. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah. I like that. I'm going to be honest. That was sick. I'm not loving it, but I think it's pretty good. And I think this one will probably grow on me. I, I think this one will grow on me. Really interesting vocal as well. Let's see what the second drop's like. It is really nice. It's really big, but the chords are quite thin. I feel like it's kind of like a mix of that generic kind of trap sound with like the snare and everything and the, the big 808s but also with that kind of like melodic bass style in a way with like the chords and everything. It's cool. It is cool. It's nice to see him spicing it up a bit as well, you know? And the acoustic guitar for this song is really nice. What am I going to rate that one out of 10? I think at the moment, 
I'm going to rate it a 7. Okay, I'm being harsh. I probably could rate it an 8. But after this video, I'm going to listen to the album again and then probably listen to it again tomorrow or whatever. And I know that these songs will grow on me because I'm just that kind of person. As long as I somewhat like a song, if I keep on listening to it, it will grow on me. Track number 5 is Move With Purpose featuring Oliver the Kid. This is the same person that featured on track number 2. Never heard this song before. Completely brand new. Don't really know what to expect, but let's give it a listen. Okay, I already like those claps. Something about them, the way that they're panned is really nice. Sing for something or I don't really want to Sad know. song? Don't know. Live for something, what really soft piano show? as well. We could wait, we could wait for you. It's a little sounds like that. That's so sick. Whoa! I really like this. Jeez. I don't really know what to say. I'm really enjoying this. Like, really enjoying this so far. I don't know whether this will have a drop. I feel like it will. If it has a good big drop, this will be my favourite so far. Maybe at the end? I don't know. But the whole vibe of this I do really like. Kind of like a sad song, but it has so many interesting elements about it. I think that's why I'm liking it so much. Like that is sick. So nice. So nice. Come on, is there going to be a drop? I'm not going to be disappointed if there's not. I just feel like that would make this song more wow to me. Very said the sky thing to do one drop. Woo! Yes! Big kick, mellow everything else. Yes. 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 That's all I say. Yes. It's not a big drop. I know I said I wanted a big drop earlier, but that fits. That fits really well. And I prefer Oliver the Kid's voice in this one over the other one. I don't know why. I think this kind of style just suits his voice more, in my opinion. That one gets a 9 out of 10. I actually really, really like that one. Go On Then Love, so far, is still my favourite, just about. But this one is just below it. Next up is a song called Stay, featuring Little Lotus. I don't know who Little Lotus is, but I'm here for it. I swear every song has had an acoustic guitar, by the way. Not a bad thing, because I love acoustic guitar. It's the way it's panned as well. It sounds like two recordings. Like one in this ear, one in that ear. And that's just really clean. Nice voice as well. Nice harmony. This one feels a bit more faster. Those reverse vocals. So sick. I really like this one as well, actually. 
Come on. Bigger drop. Wow. Yes. This is the kind of drop I love. That's sick. That's so sick. I actually have goosebumps. I actually have goosebumps. It's like really heavily side chain, but it's cool. It's so cool. That's sick. This one's looking like a 10 so far. Unless they do some weird thing where it like turns into trance or something, this is gonna be a 10. It's kind of like a little bit of a mumbly vocal, but I really like it. Like, it really fits. I don't know why. And then loud guitars as well. And that is sick. It's like the same kind of thing from the other one. Okay, let's go. Second drop. Is it going to be the same? I'm happy if it's the same. Yes. Wow. So sick. So sick. This is my favorite so far. Hands down. I really like this one. Sick. So sick. So the thing is as well, I'm a music producer, right? So listening to these songs, I hear everything and just appreciate it so much more because it's just so interesting. That's a fucking banger. 10 out of 10. I have nothing else to say about it. For track number seven, we got Emotion Sickness featuring Will Anderson and Parachute. This is the one that came out, I think it was on Wednesday, but I still haven't listened to it. Let's have a listen. Okay, feeling a bit sad. I mean, it's called Emotion Sickness, right? So it doesn't sound like a very happy song. Felt it from the day I saw you. This could be punk. The vocal sounds very punk. I've never heard a Parachute or Will Anderson before, so I'm not sure. It's quite poppy. I think for the progression. Kill me slow with every kiss. Consider this my dying wish. There's also it sounds like there's some snares in the background. I don't know how I feel about that to be honest. It's a bit nice. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of those vocal stacks, yes. There we go, yeah. Punk vibes. As soon as I heard the vocal, I was like, it's gonna be, it's gotta be. It's just that kind of vocal, you know? I don't think we're getting a drop on this one. I don't know. Possibly at the end, but I mean, I don't mind it so far. I don't love it. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm liking it more. It's really nice. Okay, yeah, it's great. It's growing on me. The more it progresses, I like it. It's turned from I don't mind it to I like it. I still don't love it, but it's good. Like I do like it. Because this is the kind of stuff I used to listen to when I was younger. So it's kind of like, you know, I gotta like it. Otherwise, why would I listen to it when I was younger?
Okay. Are we gonna get a drop? Yeah, I reckon we're gonna get a drop. Let's see how this sounds. Woo! Oh, really nice. It's like a, it's like a combination of the both. Of the both, yeah, that made sense. And the half time. Yeah, it's quite catchy and pop punky. That just is what it is. It's pop punk. It's it's set the sky melodic pop punk. That's what we're calling it. Melodic pop punk. Yeah. Okay. I'm a fan of that one. I would listen to that one. I like the ending as well. That's cool. That one gets an 8 out of 10. It's one I would listen to, but I don't love it as much as Stay. For track number 8 is Bittersweet Melody featuring Friend. I don't know who Friend is, but I do kind of recognise a name. Another acoustic guitar. So far, there hasn't been a song about acoustic guitar. Again, I'm not complaining. It's just a funny little thing to point out. Okay, I like the vocals so far. There also hasn't been a vocalist on this album so far that I'm like, yeah, about. I like them all. Yes. I like this. This album so far. Pretty good. I love that bell that follows it, that's cool. 100% two drops in this. Let's go. Come on, be a good drop. Oh, that's a change. I like that. That, that's a nice switch up. It's like a houseier one. That's really cool. But it's kind of like keeping the melodic bass elements in a way. That's cool. The guitar is cool. I wonder if second drop is going to be different. I don't know. That was like really unexpected, but a really nice, really nice switch up. I like that. And I really like the hook as well. Yeah, here we go. Same drop. I'm not going to complain if it is. Just always interesting to know. How how did you manage to pull up a fake out on a house track? Sick. This is nice. This is really nice. This one's actually quite up there, I think, for me. You know, I have a lot of respect for producers who release an album, and it's not just like the same style of music throughout the whole album. Because so far it's been quite versatile, even with like the different singers and stuff, different, different influences. Really cool. I actually really like that. That one's getting a 9 out of 10. Again, it's not quite up there with Stay, but it's a really good track. For track number 9, we have a song called Holding My Own, and it's featuring Jack Newsom. Again, never heard of Jack Newsom, but I'm sure he's a good singer. Okay. 
I love the vibe of all of these songs as well. Like, so far, this is a really good album. Yep, nice vocal as always. That snare, or just those drums in general, that's really sick. I don't know whether this is going to have a drop. But, I don't mind. It's... It's more like a chill one. This track's only 2 minutes and 18 seconds long. So I think it's just one of the one of the chill ones, which is fine. I'm happy with this. I really like this. really just clean i love the vocal stacks like the harmonies and i think for an album you have to throw a song like this into it because it again shows that kind of like versatility it's not all the same thing and it's nice i really like that that was a really chill song i've, I've said i really like that to basically every song on this album so far This is a really great track, but am I going to listen to this song outside of the album? I don't really know. I'll rate it a 6, and the only reason I'll rate it a 6 is because, like I said, I don't really know if I'm going to listen to it outside the album. It's not one that I would intentionally add to my playlist, if that makes sense. But like I say, still really a nice song, really chill track, and I like it. We only got six songs left now, which is quite sad. For track number 10, we got It Was You, and it's featuring We The Kings. I feel like I've heard of We The Kings. I recognise the name. I don't know whether they're a band or whatever. I guess we'll see. Who's the guitar again? Okay. That was cool. Again, that effect is so sick. It's like a vocoder, but like a really bassy vocoder. I think punk vibes again. I reckon we're getting some punky vibes. Just with the tempo and how things are going. But we'll see. We'll see. What happened to that panning off is really nice. Nice though. Okay, come on. Give me a good drop. I'm ready for it. That's so nice. Yeah, big drop. Big drop. Yeah, nice. Continue the kind of punk drums, yeah. In the beginning, I was kind of like, okay, this isn't bad. But I think now I'm liking it a lot more, though. Oh, those guitars are nice as well. No 
See, I've been saying for ages, right? Like, as a producer, I really, really want to make a melodic bass track that kind of has pop, pop punk kind of vibes. And this is just the perfect example of what I want to do. Like, so sick. Even just the sounds like that, like with the weird distorted reverb thing, just like really interesting stuff. Second drop, you're gonna do a fake out, aren't you? Yeah, do it. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this one. This one is definitely up there. Sick. Does that one get a 10? I'm going to give it a 9, okay? It's not perfect, but it's very close to it. There was like a little bit in the beginning where I was kind of like, uh, I don't really know how I feel about this. And I don't know what it was. I just wasn't too keen on it in the beginning. But as the song progressed and it kind of had that punk vibe and the big drop, that made me like the song a lot more. But because of that first bit, I can't give it a 10. Track number 11 is a song called Blue Eternal and it's with Motion City Soundtrack. I have no idea who Motion City Soundtrack is, but just looking at the name, I'm going to guess a band. Okay, definitely a band. Definitely punk vibes on this one. But that's a really cool effect. It's like a classic punk rock kind of thing to do. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. Not a huge fan of the vocal right now. However, the chorus bit, I like. I just wasn't keen on that verse. I don't know. Production, though. Yes, I like it so far. Okay, I'm intrigued to hear what the drop's gonna be like. Okay. I like it, but it's not wow, if that makes sense. Oh, very pace change. I know the vibe, but I completely get it. I just don't think this is very me, if that makes sense. I knew there was going to be punk vibes on this album. I knew there was going to be collabs of bands. I don't know. Something about it. The chorus, I don't mind. It's just the verses. A little bit eh, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Listen up, this is an uncommon story. A little late in fact, completely overdue. I tell you everything to keep myself a work in progress. Okay, let's see. So the second drop's like. That's cool. That's really cool. I do like all of the guitars. I think the melody is fairly basic, but nothing wrong with that. I like his voice here more. Yeah, I like I like his voice here more now. I like his voice more here. 
that's what I'm trying to say. I could not get my words out then. Okay, third drop. It's a free drop track. Okay. Yes. The half time. This drop. Banger. Love this drop. I think for me, if I'm being completely honest, this drop has saved this track a bit for me. But this could be another case of it will grow on me. You know, I'm still going to listen to it when I listen to the album. So maybe it will grow on me. I don't know. Okay, if I'm being honest, I would say I don't mind the song at the moment. I wouldn't necessarily say I really like it or I love it. I'll give it a 7, okay? And it mainly gets a 7 because of that last drop and because the choruses sounded nice. It's just the verses. I don't know what it is. I think it's the vocal. I think it's the melody with the vocal and just how the vocal sounds. And I wasn't too keen on the more upbeat section on the second verse either. But everything is my opinion, so you know. Right, track number 12, we've got four left. This is called Legacy with State Champs. Okay, I'm feeling punk vibes again. Not a bad thing, okay? It's not a bad thing. So far, I like this. This is cool. Nice drums, nice guitar. I like the vocal. Yeah, okay, okay. I love how the vocals processed as well. It's really nice. Okay, I like that. I see all the drops like it's gonna be a big drop. It better be a big drop. It feels like it's gonna be a big drop. Come on. Okay. I don't know, it's good. Don't get me wrong, I like it. I expected something a little bit bigger. Like it didn't sound like big, full, like, wow drop. It was kind of just like a good drop. It just wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. However, I, I do like this so far. Like, the rest of the song is really good. The drop is good. And again, the processing is just really nice. And I love this bit. Okay. Same drop again? I don't know. That was a cool... That was a cool fake it. I like that. I tell you what, here in the second drop, now I know what to expect. I like it more. I think it's just because I expected something bigger, you know. And now, now I know what to expect. I do really like this. Those vocals are nice on the end as well, with the guitar. I will say the punk influence on this album is sick. Like, really, really sick. That one can get a 9 out of 10.
because I tell you what, it grew on me a little bit more once I knew what to expect. It was really nice because I did expect the bigger drop. If it did have a bigger drop, it could be a 10 out of 10. But you know, a 9 out of 10 is still pretty good. I still really like it. Next, we have track number 13, which is called Forgotten You with Oliver the Kid. This is the third and final collab with Oliver the Kid on this album. And this is actually the last song on the album that I haven't heard yet because the last two songs were released before. Obviously, I'm still going to be listening to them because I'm listening to the whole album. But let's see what this song has to offer. Okay. Don't get me started, hard tattoo on your arm, but mine is hardened. I'm getting dizzy counting the days. I'm counting the days. That's days, really days, nice, that days, days. bell kind of sound. September, I pulled the fire alarm, make you remember all the things you used to say. You used to say. It's cold as all get out now. Oh, okay. Send out yes. And movies, get to sleep without a doubt. It kind of has, in terms of like the way that the vocal sounding and the melody and stuff, kind of similar to We Know Who You Are, Who You Are, We Know Who We Are, Can't Speak. That's nice. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting the punk drums and guitar. Okay, I'm ready for it. Is it gonna be a big one? I don't know. Yes. That's the vibe I love. I love that kind of vibe so much. See, that's that's big in terms of how it sounds. It's like huge. And that's that's what I expected from the other one. You say my name. It's been November, your birthday's come and it's gone But I remember the promises that you had made They seem to fade away It's warmer than I remember Sweat beads that come from pleasure Night drives down the coast with the windows down and See, I really like the drum pattern here Where the kind of punk drums were before I don't know, it's gonna sound really like bold of me but I don't know if it really fits. It kind of like, I don't know, it felt a little bit unnecessary. I don't know whether it's gonna do it again or not. No. See, I don't know what it was. The first time around, just the drums felt like really big and pop punky, and it just didn't feel like I needed it. Oh wait, is it gonna be here? No. I don't know what it was. Like here, it's nice. It's not as like in your face. I love when the vocal chops sound like that. Yeah, I'm a fan of this one. I am a fan of this one. Maybe I was being a little bit too judgmental about those punk drums, but I think it's just because I wasn't expecting them. I don't know. I know uh, the vibe of this one is really nice. You know, like I said, in terms of the melody and how it was kind of being sung, it sounded like we know who we are. And I wasn't too keen on we know who we are. But I think this is kind of like that middle ground that I do like. Really nice ending as well. That one can get a 7 out of 10. I really like the drop. I really like the vibe of it in general. It's just, I don't know, something about those drums in that first verse just felt a bit much for the song, in my opinion. I don't know what it was. It sounded nicer in the second verse. 
that's just how I'm feeling. Right, track 14, we have one of my favourite songs, not only by Said the Sky, but ever. It's called Treading Water, and I, I just absolutely love this song. This is one of those songs that, in my opinion, is just perfect. Like, there is nothing wrong with the song. It is the definition of perfect. Everything, even from the intro. I'm a sucker for those pitched vocals and the guitar. And just the story as well. I love this song so much. I did do a song reaction to the song, listening to it for the first time. So if you wanted to check that out, there'd be a little thing that pops up on the screen that you can click to go watch it after the video. I think even then I loved it. Like, I've listened to the song so much and I still love it. The little piano as well. Just has so much emotion. Beautiful. It's such a beautiful song. I think ending the album in this way is perfect. With Treading Water and then Walk Me Home. It's like, it's like you want to make people cry. Okay, here we go. Here's the drop. See, I love the drop because it has the emotion, but it's also quite big at the same time. Yeah, I genuinely really love this song. Even even with the, the kicks there and the way that they kind of stutter, I love that. This is what I mean. Like, when I say it's the definition of perfect, it's because I love everything about this song. It's nothing crazy. It's just really nice to listen to and quite easy to listen to as well. I love it. I love it so much. Even the guitar as well. So nice. It's like nothing in this song is like, oh, that's a little bit too much or whatever. It's just so clean. And I have no idea what is in the drop here, but it almost sounds like horns or something. Like, it's so nice, though. I know all I've done is compliment this song, but I can't not. I can't just be like, yeah, this song's good. Because I love it so much. That song, easily a 10 out of 10. I'd give it higher if I could. I really do love that song. And finally, to end off the album, we have Walk Me Home with Elenium and Chelsea Cutler. I reacted to this song last week, if you want to go watch my first reaction to that. But this song, I've listened to it like however many times now. I've listened to this however many times since it came out last week, and I still love it just as much as the first time I listened to it. I think it's going to be like treading water in the way that it just won't ever get old for me. I could cry an ocean to give me Chelsea's voice is so nice as well. But so nice. I love it so much. So much. I honestly think I might, at the moment, love this a little bit more than Treading Water, but I think that's probably just because it's newer. But I still really love it. Ooh, 
It's the atmosphere, it's the guitars, it's the vocal layers, it's the melody. And then when it goes up, and then the, oh, the, the strings, bruh, it gets me every time. You know, after I'd done the reaction video to this last week, I sat there and I just closed my eyes and listened to the song. Like, literally just listened without thinking about anything else. And I actually had tears in my eyes. That's how much I love this song. Like, everything's just... Even the reverb on the snare, everything. It's so nice. Like that as well. How can something sound so empty but so big at the same time? So nice. And then the drop as well that's coming up. I can't, I can't wait. I love it so much. Like it's not even a massive drop. This, the way that it progresses into the drop and just the progression of the song in general is so nice. And the fill. It's wow. It's so wow. And also how the main vocals kind of panned a bit and then you got another vocal going on really cool everything about this sick such a banger again i would rate it higher than 10 if i could absolutely beautiful amazing way to end the album amazing and that is my reaction to said the skies album sentiment that was a journey i actually really enjoyed that album so thinking about all of the songs what i rated all of the songs i now got to rate this album out of 10 which is going to be very difficult for me to rate it a 10 out of 10 would be very hard because it means every single song on the album i'd absolutely have to love to pieces and it was an amazing album i really enjoyed a lot of the songs on there again i'm going to be listening to the album a lot as well but i think if i'm being completely honest I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10. It's just about a 9, okay? I would have given it an 8, but I feel a bit too rude giving it an 8. I'm going to give it a 9. It's just there's the odd song on the album that I didn't particularly love. However, it does have the classic songs that I liked, as well as some new ones that I liked. It's a pretty solid album. But yeah, anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Let me know what your favourite song of the album was in the comment section down below. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. But other than that, my name is Insko, and I hope you have a great weekend.